ecosystem. Production in space and time. EPISAT Ecosystem Production in Space and Time. EPISAT is an ANS funded project tasked with mapping Australia's carbon cycle over the last decade, month by month, year by year. We model gross primary production, an estimate of the amount of carbon stored by plants across the Australian continent. Our simple model is based on observations made by the Ausflux network, shown here as coloured spheres scattered around this Google Earth map. Scientific evidence shows that gross primary production, the conversion of light and water into chemical energy, is proportional to the amount of light intercepted by the plants. This is an animation of a greenness input to the EPISAT model, the Enhanced Vegetation Index, from MODIS. To make the link between satellite and climate, we use continuous observations from flux towers. Let's take a look at one close up. Here is the Ausflux Tower at Calperum in the state of South Australia. We use cameras to keep a watchful eye on the tower and here at Macquarie University we are using Google Android phones to do this. Highlighted in blue is the core of the Flux Tower, the sonic anemometer that uses ultrasonic sound waves to measure wind velocity in three dimensions and at high frequency. It is the state of the art in micrometeorology. Highlighted in red, the gas analyzer measures fluxes of carbon dioxide and water vapour as it passes through the sensor. Shown in green, the net radiometer and quantum sensors measure incoming and outgoing radiation which we use to determine the link between photosynthetically active radiation and plant growth, critical to the EPSAT model. Our approach of combining these two vastly different data to produce a humanly usable map enables science to apply the EPISAT software and the products that it produces to gain a better understanding of the dynamics of our ecosystems. Here is a visualization of how the interannual change in GPP might look when it's ready in March 2013. We can use these estimates of GPP for a range of activities from biodiversity conservation, carbon balance and accounting studies, land management, and further research and modeling of our biosphere's carbon dynamics. Australian ecosystems are both diverse and vast. Join us in doing all we can to improve our understanding of this dynamic ecosystem.